yeah. Snake versus Pac-Man. What an odd matchup. And another one that couldn't happen in Smash 4. I always like saying that. <laughs> Once again, modded Captain Falcon skin. Oh my shoes. <laughs> oh boy. We're, well, remember, BB3 just, just he just like he just had the awesome comeback. He's probably got a lot of he's probably got a lot of like you know momentum just in him right now. Like, he's got the adrenaline pumping, like oh he's yeah, thinking, you know his uh and like compare that to what the Lion King just had to go through. The last time he was on the stream setup, he uh, didn't have the he didn't have the greatest time. Against, yeah, he had uh, he had a little bit of a little, a, little, a little rough time. Yeah. But, you know, he's playing really well tonight. He's made it all the way here. He was in winner's finals. So, you know, he he definitely has that sort of power backing him up. The question is whether he can unleash that power right now against VB3 because he needs to immediately. He's at 134%. This is such a scary position for him to be in. Yeah, you see, like you see, VB3, like he's like, what? He had like three variables there on. He had, he had, a, he had the key to that hit a hydrant, and then he on top of that had a fruit ready too. Like, oh, and Snake is down a stock. Oh, unfortunate, right there. Not kind of the SD you want to see. Um, at the same time, it it does. There still is this lingering question, which is how is VB3 going to get his kills? Right there, that kill was kind of handed to him. Although, wait, when did he take 105? And blink. Oh, he just got lapped. The this aggression is... from BB3, too. Like, seriously. The, like, you yeah. can just see, like, he is just... Oh. Yeah, but he's got to watch that aggression, though, because, like, you know, <laughs> tortoise in the hair. One more grab at this point will do it, because he can get the up tilt. Yeah, you see he's hungry for it. Ooh. What just happened? I think I saw an explosion. I did, too, but what, what explosion? Did his C4 detonate on him? Cell? Of I, time? I, I don't, don't know. I genuinely don't even know. I don't. I have no idea what exploded. It was like there was just so much going on there. Regardless, um, yeah, there was a. Oh, okay. He got. He got. The, he got the Timberland. Uh, uh, yeah. Like honestly, like if Eli can, like if Eli can just like kind of take advantage of like uh, db 3s aggression, I could see him maybe like catch, getting some more catches. Because, like, VB3 really, you can just tell he's jazzed right now. He has a ton of them. He just has a ton of energy in him. Oof. The key, too. These forward smashes. It's the late ones with Tonics are going to kill right here, but. He's the sort of position that VB3 looking very comfortable. Like him, he's trying to find an opening of some kind. But even when he does, it's a dash attack that sends him too far away for any reasonable follow-up. He's got that bell. Yeah, I think starting oh. to... Oh, that's got oh. it. Oh, what a no. dig! He, he gave him a free trip to the, yeah. the oh, stage. And now that, he, that's oh. going to do it. Back for a Thursday. Mm -hmm. That's going to do it. That is going to do it. And that is that was game one, right? That was game one. And we are in best three out of five territory here because it's a loser's finals. Yes, yes. So that so all right, we're we're at it. We're at, we're starting now. Um Yeah, let's see how like and adapts though. Um like I feel like um I feel like VP3 just has so much energy. I don't know like how long like kind of that like you know that, that boost from like the last step can last, but like you know, and it's probably gonna keep going because he just got another win. But um, yeah, I think Elijah needs to kind of like maybe look into like you know, look for the cracks and like you know, because when you're when you're moving a, a, like a freight train's moving that fast, like any like bump in the road, it's gonna hit hard. Yeah, or, I mean, I'm not sure exactly what option Snake has to shut down aggression. I mean, I I feel like whenever I go on aggressive on Snake, I just get hit by a million things. So I mean, maybe just like pulling grenades and holding them a little bit more prevent those big combos that we've seen DB3 getting. Yeah, kind of have an escape route. <laughs> There's no better escape route than blowing yourself up. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah, Pac-Man actually was extra 69%. Didn't get a single hit. Um, you know, I think, um, yeah, I wonder how that's going to uh, turn out for him. Yeah. Yeah, actually, uh, oh, oh that's boy. another one. Every single stock is a forward smash, dude. I understand that, like, some of them are, like, bell forward smash, but, like, every single one is a forward smash. Yeah, like... He likes that. He, he, he likes that option. Like uh, he likes that pickler ghost. Uh, 
Yeah, uh, giant bar. Ooh. Ooh. Cute though, the grenade blowing up in the middle of it. Okay, some sizable damage from both players. Things looking pretty even at the moment. The question is, I mean, it, it, it feels inevitable that one of these guys just pulls away. It, it's just like this huge all of a sudden. Zhip, and then the yeah. car just revs its engine and it's just like, oh, and one of them is at like 120. Yeah, like that's what it feels like. That's what I feel like is going to happen. Like, one of them's going to like, one going to pull ahead. Like, one, so, someone's going to slip and someone's going to, uh, well, get pretty, have a good, pretty good night. All right, here we go. Yeah, like, a lot can adapt against an extra percent on BB3. I mean, like, an extra, a nice extra spread. I mean, not like, 55% is nothing to sniff at. Oh, almost, he almost got hit by the ghost there. He, like, kind of kind of rode the stage a bit, but just just angled it right where he didn't get, uh, he didn't get hit by, uh, <laughs> oh, he didn't get hit by that. Oh, my much. God, I killed that wasn't Poets match? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> it's, it's, it's Oh, it's oh my goodness. Oh, boy. Uh, 65%. You never know with Pac-Man. Like, oh, and they went to the forward smash again, but it looks like Lycan kind of called the bluff there. We saw an up smash out of uh, BB3. Like, you know, it's trying to branch out. Wow, the forward smash there. We saw the beginnings of it almost connecting. But as it stands, 130, he has to be so careful about up tilt. Oh. Uh, that's it. That's a, that's a game for a lie, Kim. All right. He's, he's got a lot of fight left in him. Also, I think he stickied him as well. So that was th 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 pretty much a death sentence. <laughs> insurance? <laughs> like yeah, insur yeah. Yeah, snake life insurance. <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. Start the battle. Snake. Snake. Snake is in this game. <laughs> I still remember the, the uh, that E3 when it was like everyone is here, and that was like it didn't no, no leaks before, and everyone was like, "Holy dumb nuts!" I can't believe that Nintendo was able to like not let stuff leak. Yeah, well, how there, do they do that? So what is, what was, is it with the Japanese business ethos? I don't. Know. <laughs> it's it's probably yeah, it's probably like with Nintendo, it's like punishable by death or something. <laughs> the, um, but um, but yeah, both players look pretty even right now. Um. Yeah, like a lot, like they're both, like both are very much like keeping their distance. Like both are kind of like trying to steal each other out. And, there, and the thing is, there was actually a, there was actually a leak for um, there was actually a leak for Ultimate. Like a, it might have been like a few days before E3, uh, but no one, but it was just like a random four gen thread. There, everyone's like, okay, yeah, okay. Like, <laughs> but no we had one, already been we'd already been done in by the Grinch leak. Remember oh no, that? it was beforehand. Oh, that was before the Grinch leak. Yeah, it was before Man. we. Even, it was before we even saw the game. It was just all we knew was there was a new Smash. Everyone to see it. No, it was before. Oh, was I see. But it was like this random text thread on four pants. Everyone's like, yeah, but, okay. Wait, no, no, Smash Ultimate wasn't announced at E3. No, no, it was announced in the March Direct. So we knew there was a new Smash, but then they announced everyone is here at E3. Mm. Before that, all we knew had was a logo and a date and in quite. Love that trailer so much. Oh my god. <laughs> that was awesome. It was such a oh my god, so cool. It was, oh, I still remember staying, because I happened to be out of the country at the time. I stayed up until 3 in the morning that night, uh -huh. and it was like nothing but inkling, like nothing but Splatoon news, and I was like, okay, okay. Um, and then they do another, like, then one more ad, and it was like even more Splatoon stuff, and I'm like, okay, okay. <laughs> uh, and then they, uh, and they hit you with it. I literally had to scream into my pillow so I didn't wake up my roommate. Um, but then I ran a, ma a half marathon the next day. <laughs> I'm like three hours of sleep. Oh man, I, I, I had to watch. I couldn't watch it live because I was uh, class. But um, I most the only thing I got spoiled from it though was the uh, Octo expansion. 
Which I'm super excited for, though, because I love Splatoon. But anyway, looking back at this, <laughs> wow. You look away for a second, and BB3 sitting, like, sitting uh, nice and comfortable at 8, 185%. <laughs> and by that, I mean dead. Um, <laughs> but I like him. He's... This is a not great position for him to be in. Then again, if he doesn't get forward smashed, he could hypothetically live forever. Yeah, like Snake, Snake's pretty heavy, right? Oh uh, yes, he is actually quite heavy. But I was I was saying more in reference to the fact that uh, I VB3 does not kill Sans forward smash. Yeah, yeah, like so yeah, like I guess he keeps his distance. Okay. Oh, he picked up the key. <laughs> <laughs> that's just, that's just how you disrespect the back man. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, he is scary, dude. Yeah, like... Yeah, no, like, I, um... I got... Uh, of all the characters in Ultimate, I probably faced... I probably faced Pac-Man the most, because, like, if you have a close friend, he used to come here, uh... Status Quo. He, uh... He would play, uh... He plays Pac-Man, and, like... At times, that, that key... That key is ended up right in my face. <laughs> oh, man. Good stuff. But it looks like Ligam is down to the stock, but not without getting, uh... BB throw up 99. Yeah, this is sort of position though where uh, whose counter pick was this? Oh right, this was VB3's counter pick. Makes a lot of sense because mainly the higher ceiling means up tilt is not as much of a threat. It's still a massive threat, but at the very least, it doesn't have to quite worry about it as immediately. Yeah, yeah, like it definitely, it definitely can result in time time like surviving just a little longer. Right there, yeah, 168 percent. I mean, last stock he lived to almost 190, so. Yeah, the survivability is there for him right now. Yeah, it's like one of those sea turtles that lives forever. <laughs> one of those jellyfish, you know. Wait, I feel like Pac-Man's more of a jellyfish. Did jellyfish live that long? Uh, there are hypothetically immortal jellyfish, I believe. Wait, what jellyfish? I think there are jellyfish that do not die. Oh, okay, I didn't know that. I'll have to look this up again. I remember hearing it. I watched an Animal Planet the documentary on it like <laughs> 10 years ago, and, sort of. And SpongeBob's out there catching these guys? <laughs> anyway, um... All right. Well, they're, the they're both for his immortality, his eternal youth. <laughs> All right. Um. Oh, okay. Yeah, like BB3's gotta be careful here, cause like, you know, if he gets hit by a C4, it's gonna hurt, like a lot. Yeah, I mean, oh, oh 97. It's any, 97. It's really anyone's game here. Like, oh, absolutely. Honestly, I think. Um. Oh. Uh, not dead. <gasps> Not dead. He, he should have pummeled. I, I understand you want to like catch him with bad DI, but back throw is so reactable that it's like worth getting at least a few pummels in. <gasps> that's gotta be oh, it! Oh, that's it! What a... I don't know what happened. You just grabbed the wrong way? I think it was a missed input. I mean, I'm, I'm assuming it was a missed input. I don't think he was going for the Giga Omega sort of 17-fold brain <laughs> play of grabbing off the stage for, you know, when he was going to full hop over him. To yeah. jump off the stage. Reg regardless, not the spot to make a mistake like that, Hen. Yeah. But uh, that's going to be, he's moving up 2 1 right now. Yeah, yeah. I like him. I don't know. He, there's there's a chance he could he could be rematching Ling Ling. All power to him, buddy. Yeah, yeah. I'll see how that goes. If he makes it that far. But BP3 is not, yeah. out, of the, not out of the, out of the uh, game yet. Like, I mean, especially because I do feel like BP3. Uh, oh, that's really good. That's why I think it's important for him to have grenades because that's the sort of situation where he would have taken like 70 from it, and if he didn't, and I have no counter attack available for himself. So. Yeah, yeah, like those those grenades may end up being saving grace. Okay, down smash. Okay, that is down smash. I hope. Um, but um, yeah, like they're both going out of here. Oh, he just gets hit by the end of, end of it. Um, that is going to be some nasty percent for him, and he's got the bell. Uh, like the thing is, I feel like a lot of people like you know, who are fighting Pac-Man, they end up getting the projectile, and it's like, what do I do with this thing? <laughs> like Pac-Man yes. knows how to do it. There's actually, I've heard that it was uh, Ling Ling. No, no, no. Uh, Shinji once told me that he actually likes it when people grab his fruit because then they just like limit their options, then they don't know what to do with it. Yeah, you know, like, they, yeah, it's like, yeah, okay, you're denying Pac-Man is fruit. But also, if you don't know what to do with it, then you're like, I am holding on to this fruit. I lose access to all my aerials, my grab. Like, y you got to know what you're doing. Granted, Snake is a character that has a lot of experience with item play, so I'm pretty sure he has at least some level of, uh, you know, Yeah, at least the, the physics behind the fruit, or at least the, at yeah. least, at least the physics behind, like, you know, how I... He just Z-drop right? him, you know. He's like, you know yeah. that a Z-drop. Yeah. yeah. 
jack of all trades type. But um, anyway, we, yeah, we see um, they're both yeah they're both rocking two stocks. Um, like DV three is like definitely putting on the, aggr the aggression here, and oh the forward smash too while he's at it. God. Yeah, no, okay, like DV like I'm would not be surprised if we see a game five here. I mean, I think I'm almost certain we're gonna be seeing a game five. That's like practically a clean stock up that BB3 has right now, and I, it doesn't it doesn't feel like a fluke, you know. It feels like he's just playing well and playing around Eliakim. Kim. Like last game, he kind of lost it because of a really unfortunate miss input. So oh, we got the you got like sniped him with the apple. Oh, so the C4 is on the platform that is now in the blast zone. Oh. Um, uh... Does that um does the C4 still exist then or is it just like just despawn? I am pretty sure it despawns. Uh, got it, otherwise got it. that's hilarious. You just lose C4 for the rest of the game. Yeah, it's just it's gone. It's like it's like alright, see ya. <laughs> C4's gone on vacation. Alright, we're seeing a lot of 69%. Glitches. I'm hoping I'm wondering if he's gonna get that bonus. Nope. No bonus. Very unfortunate. Oh, and he's just not finding these hits. Like, I, I think that he, maybe BB3 could survive one more up tilt. Okay, now he's dead to up tilt for the lands. But it's the sort of thing where, you know, you're playing against the snake. Of course he's looking for the up tilt. I mean, but then again, I mean, sure. It's still, it's, it's unavoidable. It's like, doesn't matter if you see it coming. You're just a deer in the headlights. What are you going to do? Yeah, you're just kind of like, all right, it was a good run. And, ha! Oh. Okay. I apologize. That was a loud laugh, but I just had to miss Krabappel laugh that. Because it's a, it's that okay. was just was silly. That was silly. Don't worry, it wasn't too loud. I always appreciate when people laugh. <laughs> that, okay, the Miss Krabappel laugh is not an l actual laugh, though. Oh, it's like, uh, it's, like, it's like that song that's singing in the right. Make them laugh, make them laugh. I forgot the rest of it. That's, I'm pretty, I feel like that song is secretly about a very depressing topic. I don't remember. Send I saw the movie. I saw the movie clowns. in theaters. But I forgot. Here it is, game five between these two. Once again, we're kind of having an even start. Only about 20% separating them, and it feels like you've seen the adaptation of play between them. And I think that this being smashful could be a huge boon to Eliakim. Number one, uh, Blast Zone on top is smaller. Those up tilts are going to be that much more threatening. And VB3's survival was just so pivotal to his success in those games, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like if he, that's thing. If VB, that's thing. If VB three just stops existing for as much during, you know, on like E three stocks, like it's uh, it's gonna get a lag and a lot more wiggle room. Yeah, yeah, and already look at how that platform is working out really well for a like him. He's hanging out on there. Oh, but, but the forward smash. It just, it just yeah, so quick. It, it just so quick. You don't know. It just there, there it is. There it is. That's it. Forward smash, that forward smash is so good. Like, I honestly, I... BB3 is showing how good that forward smash... I knew it was good. I didn't realize it was this good. Yeah, it's like... That kind of thing, like, we don't, we don't even, we're not even reacting to it. Like, you know... Yeah, I mean, it's also worth noting that he's getting these... Fo that was so cute! <laughs> um, yo, C4 on the hydrant. C4 on the hydrant. C4 on the platform. Okay. Um, but uh, the, the, he's getting these forward smashes. It's not like random forward smashes. He is doing a good job of limiting options because of the hydrant, getting a proper read in the situation where already Elikim was under pressure. So it is it is part of the the like seven-step game plan, just that the final step often is forward smash. Yeah, it often is. Oh, wow, he aims it. Ooh. Oh, that down smash would have been... Oh, wow. Oh, I thought I thought Eli got hit there. Like, wait, that was good DI. I think that was just like accidental buffered DI. I think he was running forward, and that gave him the uh, the exact trajectory to survive that up tilt. Can't he's not gonna be surviving another one now. Yeah, another up tilt's gonna be a very a very uh, a very dead pack, man. You see, you're not you're seeing them play a lot more careful uh, now. C4 like is they're... right next to the hydrant, by the way. See we're right next to the hydrant. Got it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Ooh, <laughs> got him. Yeah, even if you're Pac-Man getting off the ledge when there are that many snake projectiles going on, it's just. Yeah, 
like we were saying last up. game, like at this point, like they're they're at, they're they have to think of so much. And now like now that like DB3 is down a little bit, like you got it, you know. And he's also, remember, he's also playing like for how long now? Yeah, I mean, I also want to, I just want to dwell on the narrative here. Both of these players, I'm almost certain this is the first time they've ever made it to Losers Finals Top 3. And one of them, only one of them is going to be moving on to Grands where they get the chance to fight against Ling Ling. So, there is a lot on the line here. It's already they've done a great showing, but they want to take it all of the way. And right now, honestly, it looks like, I was about to say, it looks like Eli Kim might do it, but that's a big stock pickup from BB3. One stock apiece, game five here, but 91%, that's a scary percent for Pac-Man to be at, especially against, uh, ooh, did he get sticky? Oh, no, no, he did. Okay. We have a uh, last stock situation, folks. <laughs> yeah, like, the thing I'm, I think I'm thinking about Weeby Three is though, is like he's been playing this like how many games? Like remember, he just played went straight into this set right after. Uh, yeah. Oh, and that's, that's it. I'm wondering. If that's the last game he's gonna be playing tonight, though. That that's it for him. Eli Kim has to rematch Ling Ling. Yeah, and I, I'm pretty sure this like the sort of thing where he's.